Hey there, welcome to the FF Print session. In the previous session, we have learned about the scalar and the object type in the graph queue. In this session, we will learn about the list and the non null. Let's start with the list. Till now, we have created some object type and each field represents a single value only. GraphQL provides us a way to represent the multiple value in the field by using the list. Listing GraphQL is the same as the CSAP. It contains the multiple item of the same type. To denote that the field uses a list type, the item type is a wrap in the square bracket. We can use the list type on the both scalar as well as the object type. Here is a simple example of this. I have created an object type that represents the travel details of a person. First field is a countries visited. It contains the list of phenium type. And next field is a visit details. It contains a list of object type. List type can be either hold the list of value or the null if it's a nullable. Non null type. By default, all type in the graph queue are nullable. But in certain situations, we need to make the some field non nullable. In that situation, we need to use the graph queue non nullable type field. To make the field non nullable, we need to add the exclamatory mark after the type name. If we pass the null value in the non null type, then we will get an error, as it cannot hold the null value. Like list, we can also use the non null type on both scalar as well as the object type. We can also apply the both at the same time too. It's a commonly used with the input object type and the argument where we are obtaining the, some kind of information in the query for the further operation. Here is an example of it. It contains the, some basic details about the order in which user mail ID is required. So use the exclamation mark after the uh, string and cart item is a list type but also required. In this section, we have learned what is a schema and a type as well as understood the each kind of type available in the graph queue. If you have any doubt, then feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.